Hello and welcome back to Max Runout. Uh, my name is Paul. Uh, this uh, uh, video is uh, part five in our series on uh, uh, injection molding uh, plastic parts at home. And in this uh, video we take the uh, uh, shredder that we built in the last uh, episode and uh, put it to the test. Uh, we try it on some uh, thick uh, plastic sections, uh, 3 sixteenths, which is four and a half millimeters, and, uh, and uh, even some uh, quarter inch or uh, 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 six millimeter pieces, and also uh, thinner material, uh, such as bleach bottles and shampoo bottles and that kind of thing that are recycled HDPE. Um, and uh, the thicker sections are uh, um, ABS. So uh, let's uh, get going and see how it works. Okay, this uh, video <coughs> is going to focus on uh, uh, some initial tests of the uh, chipper or shredder. Sometimes I call it a shredder, sometimes I call it a chipper. You're going to have to bear with me on that. Um, I've uh, got it uh, powered now by a little one-sixth horsepower motor that was uh, in my inventory. And uh, um, first we're going to try it with uh, some 3 sixteenths inch thick. Uh, uh, that's about four and a half millimeter thick uh, pieces of scraps of ABS, black ABS that I've, uh, I have and uh, that I want to use for some uh, molding experiments with ABS and then we'll try it with some HDPE that uh, comes from uh, recycled uh, uh, bottles. Uh, I've got a shampoo bottle that I cut up that uh, uh, we'll see how that works on that. Uh, so uh, off we go. Okay here's the uh, chipper ready for some initial trials. Um, I've got a little cup under there to catch the plastic uh, particles as they're sheared off and uh, a piece of cardboard under it to keep more of them from uh, flying around. Um, here's what it looks like from the back side. The uh, pulley uh, belt needs a guard. Um, for safety and uh, the cutting wheel um, especially needs a guard. But I couldn't wait for that to get started here to at least for a trial. Um, but eventually I'm gonna get something on there to keep it uh, keep my fingers out. Okay let's uh, have a look at how this little guy works. Um, first I'm going to cut some uh, of the 3 16 ABS and uh, uh, we'll have a look at that first. <clears throat> Thank you. 
as you can see it uh, cuts through the ABS pretty good uh, but from time to time it's uh, it uh, gets stuck and stops the motor and it needs a little more torque uh, so I'm going to take a look at uh, what to do about that I think uh, probably what I'm going to do is uh, is uh, uh, make the cutting wheel a little smaller. I could make the pulley on the back larger, but that would slow things down and I'm going to try first uh, Making another cutting wheel. This one's four inches in diameter and I'm gonna I think I'll drop down to maybe two and a half and uh, um, See if that helps As you can see it uh, makes some pretty nice sized chips um, these ought to be perfect for uh, feeding into the uh, into the extruder. Uh, uh, next, I'm gonna, or the injector, I guess I meant to say. Uh, next, I'm gonna uh, try cutting some thinner stuff, uh, some recycled uh, plastic bottles, and so on. Okay, now we're gonna try it with some thinner stuff. <clears throat> this is a uh, shampoo bottle that I uh, just cut up on the bandsaw. through this stuff with no problem. In fact, uh, I'm sure I could run it much faster than this and uh, in it. Okay, no problem. Again, it makes some uh, nice size little uh, chips here. That uh, will work just fine with the uh, 
with the uh, injector, pour them in the injector, it should work good. I forgot to put the uh, <coughs> forgot to put the little cup underneath this time, so I'm going to have to sweep these up. But uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, again, I think I want to make a, a little bit smaller uh, wheel for the uh, the heavy plastic, but for this stuff, um, I could well at one small change I could make is I could make this gap a little smaller here. I was noticing it was kind of pulling stuff into the gap, but uh, that's easy to adjust. I just loosen these bolts and slide this in a little bit. But uh, I'm quite happy with the way that's working. And uh, kind of put some guards together for it and uh, a few other things. I think what I might do is uh, get some different pulleys and run this quite a bit faster for the thin stuff because uh, it'll cut it up quicker and uh, I don't see it's got, you know, plenty of torque for this and um, and then go with the smaller wheel for the uh, <coughs> for the big stuff okay I found another uh, combination of pulleys that uh, lets the thing turn faster and I'm going to try that on this uh, um, thin, thinner stuff this is the shampoo bottle I'm going to give that a try. now I uh, I'm happy I'm really happy with the way this works uh, I think it's a very good uh, compromise uh, 
uh, not as uh, efficient or fast as a, the kind of shredder uh, that Dave has on his channels, uh, but a lot uh, cheaper and uh, quicker to build. And uh, it, uh, and of course, it's a compromise in performance, but uh, it beats the daylights out of uh, trying to cut it up with scissors. Um, so, uh, so I'm pretty happy with this. <clears throat> Okay, one more test here. I did uh, take this apart and uh, and slot the holes in this uh, spacer so that I could move it forward a little bit. So it's, now it's got a, a lot tighter gap there, and I find that works a little better. <clears throat> and uh, I thought I would try uh, speeding it up further uh, by trying uh, to do a double layer. See how I'll see how that works at the high speed. This. Um, Plastic, by the way, has got some kind of nasty adhesive on it. I've uh, tried to get it off. Uh, I tried soap and water first, and uh, that didn't touch it. And then I tried uh, a couple of different solvents, and uh, and that didn't touch it either. So I'm just putting up with it. I'm hoping that uh, it won't interfere with the uh, uh, moldability or whatever of the plastic once we uh, get it uh, melted. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So that works pretty good. Uh, frankly, I uh, have not been uh, able to think of a decent way to put a guard on there. Uh, I guess as long as your hands are well back like this, uh, you're not likely to get hurt. But uh, uh, once the piece gets smaller um, and things get closer, it's more of a problem. Um, what I've been doing is using a long nose pliers to, to do the we're trying as you got along those wires to do the small parts. That looks pretty good. Keep your hands away from it. Go right up to the side. small enough to wrap in there. Um, so that works pretty nice. And uh, so I think I'm going to, uh, uh, when you watch this, if you got an idea of how, about how to make a guard, uh, the problem I saw was that uh, it's nice to see where you're going uh, with the guard, or I mean with the, with the cutter. And if you put a guard on there that covers this up, then it, it uh, it's just hard to see what you're doing. And uh, so I've been uh, I've been working without it, but uh, like I say, this technique with the long nose pliers works pretty nice. Now, if you watch this and have an idea about how to make a guard for this, uh, maybe some kind of clear plastic thing or something, I uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll take a look at it.
after watching uh, this footage, uh, I realized uh, that there's a, a problem, or I spotted a problem. Maybe you saw it too. Uh, it looks like uh, what's happening is that uh, the pieces that have been sheared off by the, uh, the wheel uh, pass all the way around and come back down again and uh, get between the cutting teeth uh, and the, uh, the new material you're trying to cut. And uh, that may very well be uh, at least part of the problem that we were having with the thicker material. Uh, so uh, I've got some uh, uh, ideas to fix that and some other improvements that I want to give uh, a try to. So there will be in the future another video where we take a look at, uh, at uh, further improvements to this uh, device. But I'm pretty happy with the way it works on the thin material and uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to chew up a bunch of uh, plastic and uh, so we can get ready to uh, uh, try out the injector. So I uh, look forward to seeing you the next time. Uh, thanks for watching.